Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make NBA DFS content, price fix content, all that good stuff. Been playing professional DFS for for years now. Looking to help you guys in the prop markets. So that's what we're going to be doing. As always, um, recap. Can't recap. The game's still going on. What's the score? Um, we took Brunson assist that hit. We're just waiting on this Clippers game 10. We'll see. I'll recap it in the next video. But um, as always, if you're looking for more DFS prize picks, all the good stuff, I'll have my Discord link down below. But uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first prop we're going to be going to here is Jabari Walker. We're going to be taking this PR right here at 26 and a half. And let me explain why I like this pick here. Let's go to Port Portland. Let's see their last game here. They played on the third. Let's just pull up the rotation here for Portland. It was a good matchup for them going up against Charlotte. You saw Jabari Walker play 41 minutes. They ran an eight-man rotation here. I'm expecting similar here. They're pretty thin. No Thibel, no Brogdon, no Grant, no Simons. Um, I'm expecting them, no Kamara, etc. They're still going to be very, very thin here. I'm expecting an eight-man rotation once again with Banton playing the bulk of the minutes off of the bench. Um, right, so they're basically running six guys with Hagen's wreath barely playing. Jabari Walker is a good point per minute guy, right? Um, he shot, I believe, like over 100 last game, four of 17, still went for holy god, like 22, 32, 34, 36 PRA shooting four of 17. Now he has a matchup going up against the Wizards. This is an even better matchup here for Jabari Walker. Um, Looking at his, um, I believe he had a 21 or 22 percent usage rate in that game. Um, Jabari Walker is a guy, good rebounder, decent score, right? If we take a look at the matchup here for Jabari Walker, just gonna take a look. Washington, they give up the fourth most points, they give up the fifth most rebounds, and they give up the third most assists here for Jabari Walker. I feel like the line is just too low. It should be at like, what, 28 in my opinion? So you're getting like, what, one and a half point discount? Maybe like 27 and a half actually. I think it's fine for him, but huge minutes. Game should stay competitive. They're running an eight-man rotation. Good point per minute guy. Um, good rebounder, can stuff the stat sheet, etc. This game should be played fast, etc. Um, juiced on the over as well. So that's going to be the first pick. We're going to be staying in this game on this team, actually. And we're going to be taking Delano Ban over 27 and a half PRA. So his line last game was at 29 and a half. I am not honestly sure why this dropped by a full two points. And I took it at 29 and a half last game. I'm going right back here at 27 and a half. I, I don't understand why I got dropped by a full two points in a much, much better matchup here. Um, he should play high 30s minutes off the bench. Him, Scoot are the two guys that are going to run the offense and dominate usage. Um, over his last five games, he's averaging close to 10 potential assists as well. So he's stuffing the statute. He's a, he's a solid rebounder for, for a guard as well. Um, should play big minutes. Same reasons for Jabari Walker. They're running an eight-man rotation in a really, really good matchup. So... We can take a, look, take a look at the matchup for you guys if you wanted to. Um, Washington give up a decent amount of points, give up a ton of rebounds, and they give up a ton of assists. If we go to shooting guard, same deal. Third worst, fourth worst, etc. You kind of get the point there. Juice on the over as well. The next pick we're going to be going to here is going to be Wondercar Jr. And we're going to be taking his PRA at 21 and a half here. The reason why I like Wondercar Jr. in this spot is another guy that's going to be in a really, really good matchup here going up against Charlotte. In competitive games, he should play high 20s minutes as long as he does stay out of foul trouble. And now you have a really good matchup. This is juiced on the over as well. If we do take a look at his matchup here. We can take a look at Charlotte, third worst at giving up points to opposing centers. They are the second worst at giving up rebounds to opposing centers. I believe they don't give up a ton of assists, though. Yeah, they do not. Um, so PRA is my favorite line for him. Other lines are fine as well. Um, I like this pick quite a bit. Um, I think I give the edge to the Portland props, but I think they're all really, really solid picks. Um, phenomenal matchup for him. Like I said, it's juiced on the over. Should play high 20s minutes, assuming the games does stay competitive. Definitely some blowout risk here. So if you want to go uh, with his first half lines, I think that's fine as well. Um, if you are scared of blowout, you could always just go. Yeah, I'm good with his first half PRA. 
at 11 and a half. So let's break down his first half, actually. Let's go to 403 and let's see what he plays in the first half. Um, I believe it's around 15 the first half minutes. Oop, that's not it. What am I doing? 403. Where is Orlando? Here we go. Forward. So yeah, he plays... 725, 12, that's 12 for a half. Let's go to 401, because I think that's a bit of an outlier. Yeah, here we go. So in 401, he played, yeah, same first half rotation, and then played, yeah, 15-ish first half minutes. So if you want to go with his first half, I think that's a bit safer than his full game PRA. Either or, it's going to be up to you. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do with your money. Um, first half is good. If you're scared of blowout, show it. They're really, really bad. Um, what is the spread of this game? Spread is, yeah. Um, let's see what other sites have them at. Yeah, 11 and a half point spread. So first half might be a bit better than his full game. It's going to be really up to you. Um, I took full game because I'm on sports books, but... First half, just as good if you are scared of the blowout. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you all in the next video.